Then I want to end this video. Let us talk about the e problem from the ad coder beginner contest 300. The problem name is dice product three. So let's talk about that. The problem statement goes like this: that you are given an integer one. So you start from one, and a die that shows integer between one and six inclusive with equal probability. Fine. You repeat the following operation while your integer, the integer that you have, is less than n. That is given you as an input. Now what you'll do is that you will cast a die, you throw a die, if it shows x, multiply your integer by x. So let's say you're at any stage uh, in this complete process and what you'll do is that you will throw a dice, whatever dice number shows, you will multiply that with the integer. So you start with one. I'll show you with some brute force as well, but don't worry, I like the actual uh, how you'll go about this complete problem. But yeah, we'll start with one, you'll throw the dice, let's say it lands on three. So now your integer becomes one into three, that is three. Now you again through your tries it becomes let's say 5. So now integer becomes 3 into 5 that is 15. So you will keep on doing this until like if your number is less than n. So you just have to find out the probability modulus this number that your integer ends up being n. Okay. So you want that probability that what is the probability that your number actually becomes n. Okay. Mod this number. Okay. Now uh, for this you have to understand two small things uh, like probability will go over probability as well but uh four minutes little uh four minutes little theorem uh, to find out uh like mod of inverse numbers uh it's not much difficult i'll go through the code as well to make, make it more easy but stay tuned on the video you'll learn a lot of things so uh what do you eventually have to find out so let's take some small example and then we'll move on to the actual understanding of how we can solve this out let's say that we have some uh let's say that you want to land on six Okay, so let's say we start with one. Now the overall thing is that you can again throw a dice of one. You can throw a dice of two, three, four, five, and six. So now it can happen that in one step you can actually just get six. From this I cannot get to six in any way. From this I can also don't get to six in any way. From this three. If I met like if I get one again, like from this, let's say I'll from the die one, I first roll out three. If I roll out three, it will become one into three, that is it will become three itself. So whatever I roll out, I multiply that number with the starting digit, like the starting integer. So it was one, so I first roll out one, so it will become one. If I roll out two, it will become two because I multiply this with one. Okay, now from here, if I roll out one again, it will become three. But if I roll out two, it will become six. Okay, so it will be here answer. From here itself, if I roll out one again, it will become two. It will become, let's say four, it will become six here as well. But there are some, let's say these branches, which will again like branch out, which will again see that it will become again two, three. So it will like some infinite things, but we have some major answer as well. So to get this in, like instead of doing this, we can like again going from let's say from starting to backward, you can go from end to backward as well. What I mean by this is that from six, if you want to land on six, you can either come from a three or you can directly come from one or you can come from two and so on. Okay, so there are two ways of thinking this problem. Okay, now how can we actually get the answer for this? So let's generalize this and then we can actually just uh, see. So from let's say if any n I want to reach, I can uh, reach it from n divided by 1, n divided by 2, n divided by 3, n divided by 4. Given that n is a multiple of 4, because I can only divide it if it's a multiple of 4, because I can get that this is die. Let's say if I rolled, uh, let's say I want to get to a 6, so I can get to a 6 from 2. Uh, like if I uh, multiply with 2, which means that I have landed to 3. So it should be a multiple, let's say, of that. So n should be multiple and only it, can, it can be divided with that. 5 or n equal to 6. And we can keep on doing that. Okay, that's one of the observations that we can do. Now, can we somehow use uh, some sort of, uh, like, let's say, logic that we can understand to solve this problem out? So there's some probability, there is a modulo. So we have to use some sort of DP because there are some state that are repeating. Why? Because as you can see that, uh to get that we have some three state three state is again here as well some states are repeating so if they're repeating states we have modulo we have probability we can directly some use some sort of db now how can we use dp let's talk about that as well or let's try to see some more actions 
let's say that if we want to the dp of n dp of n means that i want to reach this state nh state let's say i want to reach six so if i want to reach six i can get from dp of n divided by one which is like actually n only so let's say i can get from n i can get from dp of n by two i can get from dp of uh, n by three plus dp of n by four plus dp of n by five plus dp of n by six okay now because the dp is a total number of total number of ways because this is like the total number of ways to get this but i want to find out probability probability is like because all of them has equal probability i'll divide by one by six okay now because this is like repeating that can cause some problems so what i can directly do is to solve this equation i can bring this part here if i just bring this part here what you can see is that become dp of n minus 1 by 6 dp of n this will become eventually like 5 by 6 dp of n and this all of like these have 6 as well 1 by 6 with them because you have taken this it has been there so uh, it is 1 by 6 of dp of like uh, n by 2 and so on till dp of n by 6 so if I just cross this out and bring this 5 here, the overall expression will become dp of n equal to 1 by 5 of dp of n by 2 plus dp of n by 3 till dp of n by 6. That is the expression that I can look for. Why? Because now it doesn't depend upon like if it is n. It, like we we'll start from 2 till 6 and we just check that whether n is a multiple of 2 3 and 4 and we just find out that and we have these dps so yeah that is one of the possible solution that we can use now what you can do is that we just have to find, find out dp of n and uh, now one thing that you have to do is that all of them has to be done mod some number okay now if i want to do let's say a uh let's say a into b mod m it's simple it is a mod into b mod m the whole mod m but if let's say if i want to take this and if i want to add them as well it is also fine like we can do the same thing but if i want to multiply two things and the other number is one by five like it is it actually just means that we have to divide so it's like a divided by b by mod m in that thing instead of like finding out that what we can directly do here is that we can take a into b inverse mod m if we just find out somewhat somehow so it, it will become a like this mod m into b inverse mod m whole mod m so b inverse mod m can be find out using ferment little law which is that you can just learn the formula which you can directly just find out using b of m minus 2 whatever is the mod here just take it to the power minus 1 like minus 2 that is finding out this value is equivalent to b to the power of m minus 2 mod minus 2 so you can actually just find out this and now you can actually just find out for every of the combination so for this just store it for dp of n use memorization on top of that just find out the answer that is pretty much simple that's the complete logic for this complete problem i hope you understand the, the expression parts and how we can just solve it out and let's move out the code part now to make it more clear. So this is the uh, mod power function that is used to find out the power of a to the power of b uh, mod m. Okay, so that's the overall thing. We are doing mod m, so that a to the power of b mod m. Okay. Now this is the uh, take the input of n, take everything in long long and just use this okay function to do the dp on it memorization on it recursive function and just find the answer now uh, the first thing is that first the base condition you can just say the base condition is that if n is equal to one if we want to find out n equal to one which means that i am actually starting on the integer n equal to one which i have told you if i have to backtrack i have to get from six to one somewhere to one okay now if i reach down one n means that I have to somehow find out a way to reach 6 but if I have already equal to 1 because I am standing on 1 the probability that 
I want to reach one, but I'm standing on one in one because there is only one way. So answer is one only for this. Okay. And this is the memorization that if I've already seen this state, just print out that state. Uh, we can bring it down here as well, but I put it here. The next thing is that uh, now we have done that. So now we have to find the answer for dp, dp of n. So dp of n state will start from two till six that I've told you for everything. We just find out if it is a multiple. So let's say if n divided by two n divided by three, everything you have to find out. So we can only take this if it's a multiple, like if n is a multiple of two, then only we can find out n divided by two dp. So if it's a multiple, then we can recursively call this function again. That is n for n divided by two, that is dp of n divided by two multiply with one by five that is uh power mod of five to the power as i have told you five to the power of m minus two that will tell you that will give you uh, uh like a, a like a inverse mod m that is five inverse uh, mod m to get this so that is dp multiplied with that to get the total answer for a particular state and then keep on adding it for all the states mod m to find out for dp of n and then just write on the dp of n for that particular state and just store that in the answer of dp of n before returning it out and we can just find the answer that's it that's a complete logic in the code part for this particular problem as well nothing much complicated if you just understand the logic and the code part and if you still have any doubts you can mention in the gun box of this complete video i will see you in the next one key coding and bye